Boy, I tell you what, doesn't get any easier going up here on the stand, of course. Um, so, uh, what's going on? <coughs> in your own words, could you tell me a typical day in the life of you? Oh, well, certainly. Uh, morning yoga, followed by the gym. You know, you always have to keep your uh, quad stretched before you go on the treadmill. Otherwise, you're going to go full hammy. Because last time I pulled a hammy, I gained like 50 pounds because <sighs> I was out of commission. Um, yes. Um, I'm asking more about in terms of the crime that was committed. Mm, well, it wasn't at the gym, I tell you what. <sighs> um, so, um, you look like you work out a lot. Perhaps if this trial ends up nicely, maybe we could work out together. Oh, I don't see why not. I'm always looking for an excuse to go to the gym. Do you have a certain area you want to work on? Uh, well, you know, the general gym atmosphere. Well, I guess free weights would be a good starting point for this. You know, a couple of machines and a couple other things. Oh, thank you. That would be very nice, actually. I have a very important question I need to ask you. Please, I need your complete honesty. Do I have a good mustache? Uh, well, it's hard to grow a mustache when you're blonde. Well, you can still see it, can't you? Well, it's more of a light skin tone and light hair tone. Have you thought about tanning? Because that works really well. You know, your skin gets darker, your hair gets lighter, and it really pops. I might have to try that. Thank you very much. What about lemon juice in your hair? Hmm, I've never tried that before, but thank you. All right, enough with the pleasantries. I noticed that you were talking about the plaintiff about working out and stuff. You look pretty cut. Would you uh, possibly want to hang out sometime? When this hearing is over, what do you think? We'd go out for a nice uh, cup of coffee. Then we'd probably go, Oh no, I don't drink coffee, but thank you. I'm a more of an herbal tea kind of guy after all. I see you're more of a not-read-between-the-lines kind of guy. So, would you like to go out with me on a date? Oh, no, I, I, I really don't want to. I'm sorry if I led you on in any way. That was not my intention. I'm not a simple man, Mr. Smythe. I have feelings like everybody else. I put myself out there and get rejected on a regular basis. Not because I'm not handsome. So I will ask you again, under perjury of court, am I attractive? Uh. N no, I'm not attracted to you.